Ghoul. Ghouls are unique and interesting creatures in the world of fantasy. Their appearance is so different from the average human that they cause fear and terror in people. However, behind this frightening appearance, there is some hope for survival in the world after wars, disasters, and other incidents. The ghoul is a creature that is found in the mythology of different cultures. In Arabic mythology, the image of the ghoul is one of the most interesting and mysterious. Here it is described as a spirit that lives in deserts and dry areas. Guli are spirits that are part of Slavic mythology. They have extraordinary power and can take various forms. Ghoul is a sinister and dangerous creature that paces Japanese mythology. He has sharp fangs and a creepy look, and his appearance resembles a monkey or a bat with dragon ears. What is Ghoul? Ghoul is a mythological creature that appears in various cultures and religions. In Arabic mythology, the ghoul is an unclean force that lives in graveyards and feeds on corpses, while in Persian mythology it is a demon that attacks people. In Egyptian works, they were represented as creatures with a pig's head and a human body. They were associated with Set, the god of chaos and destruction. They were also used as a symbol of danger and destruction. History of the Image In Indian mythology, the ghoul is known as Pishyak or Pisachini, a demonic creature that inhabits graveyards and attacks people at night. According to legend, if a Brahmin bird visits a cemetery, there is sure to be a Pisachini there. In Japan, they are called Gaki or Onri, the spirit of a dead person seeking peace. Gaki are found in places associated with death, such as cemeteries or near old houses. In Western culture, the ghoul is known as an unclean spirit that lifts the dead from coffins and turns them into zombies. In horror movies, they often appear as evil monsters trying to destroy people. Despite the variety of images and functions of ghouls and legends, they all have in common that they are creatures associated with death and danger. They remind us that death is an integral part of life, so we should respect it and remember those who have already left this world. Interesting to know, ghouls are an interesting element of mythology of different countries and cultures. They add a special charm to the dark legends of unclean powers. What is a ghoul? Ghoul is an ancient creature in mythology that appears in various cultures and religions. They are described as evil spirits or ghosts that feed on the flesh and blood of living people. The origin of ghouls in folklore can be traced back to ancient Indo-Iranian myths about demons known as Pishachas. Here the creatures appear as malefactors who attacked and killed people at night. In Indian mythology, the Pishachas are descendants of the Rakshasas, formless creatures who live in dark forests and have supernatural powers. In Persian mythology, they were depicted as humanoid creatures with bird wings or scorpion tails. In Arab myths, gulis were represented as evil spirits who lived in deserts and oases. They attacked travelers and turned them into their slaves. The guli were represented as creatures with animal heads or humanoid bodies and bat wings. In Christian mythology, the characters were depicted as evil demons who attacked people and caused them suffering. With the development of popular culture, the story of the ghouls received a new development. In the folklore of various countries, these creatures are often associated with evil spirits that bring misfortune. For example, in Scandinavian mythology, the ghoul is the undead, which can be reborn from the corpses that died in battles or from disease. The image of monsters continues to live on today. They appear in books, movies, video games. In the works, ghouls are described as evil creatures that feed on the blood and flesh of living people. Interesting to know, in some cultures, ghouli are seen as good protectors. For example, in Indian mythology, pishachas can be benevolent to people and even help them. In this regard, there are symbolic ghoul tattoos. Characteristics and peculiarities of ghoulas. Ghouls are mythological creatures that are found in various cultures and religions. They are often associated with night, death, and the afterlife. Although different peoples have their own characteristics of the guli, some characteristics of these creatures can be identified in common.
one of the most common images is of the dead returning from the grave. They are usually described as skeletal or rotting corpses that roam the earth lifelessly in search of food. Because of this, the creatures are often associated with greed and veracity. Another characteristic is dwelling in remote and uninhabited places. It can be a graveyard or an abandoned house, but often monsters prefer underground catacombs or other subterranean structures. This is why they are also associated with secrets and hiding places. Some species of ghouls can take on the appearance of living beings, which makes them even more dangerous. They can inhabit towns and villages, pretending to be normal people or animals. Ghoul in Mythology Ghouls are also known for their properties of stealing and hijacking objects. They may take things from people that they need to survive, as well as weapons or other useful items. They also often take possession of the souls of the deceased to use their energy for their own purposes. Are very dangerous creatures. They are capable of attacking people and other living beings without any warning. In addition, these creatures can be very cunning and agile in battle. Ghouls combine greed, danger, and mystery. Although the creatures are often associated with the dead, they can take on many different guises and behave in many different ways. What Ghouls Look Like Ghouls are the most terrifying and dangerous creatures found in the world of fantasy. In appearance, they are very different from ordinary humans. For one thing, the creatures have very pale skin that looks like it has been sunburned. It may also be covered in scars and other damage caused by radiation or disease. Their bones stick out and their muscles are visible through their thin skin. All ghouls are quite thin and emaciated. This is due to the fact that they do not eat or drink. Because of this, the creatures have a characteristic fold on the neck a hump. Their heads can be deformed and elongated due to the lack of fat deposits. Monsters have very pronounced eyes, often without pupils and with a red or yellow tint. The eyes of werewolves can be arranged asymmetrically, giving them an even more intimidating appearance. Appearance of the creature The hair of these characters often falls out or becomes very thin and brittle. In some cases, they may be completely absent. Ghoulies are always dressed in worn and torn clothes. The creatures do not take care of their belongings, nor do they care about their appearance. In this regard, their clothes are covered with dust, dirt, and blood. Interesting to know. The appearance of a ghoul is a combination of signs of sickness, devastation, and decomposition of the body. That is why they are so scary and cause terror to people. The character of the ghouls. Ghouls and myths are some of the most sinister and dangerous creatures. Their frightening appearance, indomitable rage and thirst for blood causes a variety of emotions in people. However, behind the mask of a ruthless monster often hides an interesting character, which describes the reasons for the behavior of ghouls and helps to better understand them. The ghouls were ruthless and fed on human flesh. Although these characters are not highly intelligent, they have their own social structure based on the principles of survival. Packs of creatures are usually formed on the basis of common interests or goals, it can be the search for food, defense against other dangers or simply the desire to be together. Each ghoul has its own individual character. Some may be aggressive and attack without warning, others are more calm and even friendly, some prefer to remain neutral. The character of werewolf ghouls can differ depending on their stage of development. Initially, they look like normal humans, but over time they lose their human-like speech and begin to whistle. At this stage, they are still capable of running and jumping, but can no longer use weapons or other objects. Further ghoulie go through several stages of development, each of which makes them more and more dangerous. For example, in the last stage, monsters are no longer capable of running or jumping, but have very high vitality and can move quickly to their target. It is important to note that the character of werewolves also depends on the environment they are in. City streets are filled with danger, a group of aggressive monsters may be lurking around every corner. In forests and nature, they can be more calm but still pose a threat to anyone. Myths about ghouls Ghouls have no intelligence and are unable to understand communication in the language of humans. 
they only respond to sounds and movements, which makes them very difficult to control. Interesting to know. One of the peculiarities of the character of ghouls is their aggression. They attack living beings without reason or excuse. The only exception can be the case when the creature was provoked on the part of a person. Weaknesses A werewolf creature with a hideous appearance. Ghouls are dead people who have come back to life and have become vicious creatures ready to attack humans. They have their own unique abilities and characteristics, but they also have some weaknesses. One of the weaknesses of the ghouls is their dependence on light. Another weakness of the creatures is their inability to tolerate water. In addition, they are weak to fire. Monsters' bodies cannot take a large number of hits. Ghouls are dangerous opponents with unique abilities and characteristics. However, they have a number of weaknesses that can be exploited to win ghoul in Japanese mythology. The ghoul is a dangerous creature that strides through Japanese mythology that he has sharp fangs and a creepy look, and his appearance resembles a monkey or a bat with dragon ears. These creatures live in mountains and stone caves, preying on humans and animals, they can devour their prey whole, leaving only the bones, and poison the water and soil around them. However, there is another side to the ghoul. They can be great protectors and friends to those who have earned their trust. I, in addition, sometimes the creatures share their magic and power and help in the fight against evil. But to win their friendship, you need to pass tests and prove your determination. In this region, Tokyo Ghoulie tattoos on the neck are especially popular. Ghouls are mythical creatures strongly entrenched in Japanese culture and art, they are among the most sinister characters, but at the same time timely protect those who have given them friendly support, thus it becomes clear that this is a ghoul. Ghoul in Chinese Mythology Along with other mythical creatures, ghoul play an important role in Chinese culture and art, they have been depicted on pottery, paintings, and even in the traditional lion dance Ghouli are usually described as creatures with a green face, yellow eyes, and long horns on their heads, they are capable of speed and strength, making them a dangerous opponent. Many believe that these creatures are guardians of the underworld and can influence people's lives. Although water ghouls in Chinese mythology are considered evil spirits, they can also be depicted as kind or even cheerful ghoul in Slavic mythology. Ghouli are spirits that are part of Slavic mythology. They have extraordinary power and can take many forms depending on the region and specific beliefs. The beings had different functions and properties. However, they were all associated with the dark side of life, death, disease, the terrors of the nighttime. One of the most common functions of the creatures was to be patrons of cemeteries. They protected the dead from evil spirits and ferried them to the afterlife. In addition, the ghouls helped people find lost things or brought good luck when searching for treasure. In some regions, monsters were associated with disease and epidemics. They were believed to bring misfortune to people and livestock. In this case, the creatures were a danger to the living and required special rituals to banish them Slavic myths. The main symbol of werewolves is the night, they are inextricably linked with darkness, gloom and the horrors that occur with the onset of twilight. Gully were represented as spirits that come out of the ground at nightfall and dwell in cemeteries or forests monsters were also often associated with the cycle of life, birth, life, death. They were a symbol of the transition from one phase to another and helped people to accept changes in their lives. In different beliefs, ghouls can be found under different names, countenances, uncleanness, evil spirits, some associate werewolves with immortality or the possibility of resurrection after death. There are many legends about werewolves in Slavic mythology. One tells of a female gula who leaves her body every night and walks around the neighborhood, I and another about techniques to protect yourself from the creatures when traveling to the cemetery. Interesting to know. The main task of ghouls is to help people overcome difficulties and survive all stages of life. They are symbols of strength, wisdom, spiritual protection. Despite the fact that these creatures are associated with the horrors of nighttime and diseases, they are an important part of Slavic mythology. Ghoul in Arabic mythology In Arabic mythology, the image of the ghoul is one of the most interesting and mysterious. Here he is described as a spirit that lives in deserts and dry areas. 
The upper part of the creature resembles a human, and the lower part resembles the hooves of an animal. There are many tales associated with werewolves in Arabic mythology. They are often described as cruel and greedy creatures that can take human life. However, there were also images of Arabian ghouls who helped people in their labors and lived exile alone in the mountains. Interesting to know, ghouls are generally referred to as ghouls or blood drinkers who trap or kill living humans. Their diet consists of sucking blood from their victim. How one becomes a ghoul Many people are interested in the question of how to become a ghoul in life Ghouls are lifeless corpses that began to come back to life after an outbreak of the zombie virus. As a rule, the creatures are most active at night, when their sight and hearing are most sensitive to movement. But how do corpses turn into living werewolves? Ghouls have tremendous power and magical abilities. First, the cause of revitalization can be death from a virus. When the infection enters the body, it begins to destroy cells and lower the immune system. Once death occurs, the corpse begins to slowly turn into a ghoul. If the infection does not kill the person, but causes them to undergo pain or stress, this can also cause the body to begin to come back to life. However, in such a case, the revitalization may be partial and the person will still remain conscious. Interesting to know. In both cases, there are changes in bodily systems and characteristics. For example, the skin and muscles become harder and more elastic, the eyes begin to glow in the dark, and the mouth becomes shaped to bite. Combined with an incorrigible lust for flesh and an endless thirst to drink blood, these changes turn the victim into a ruthless and relentless killer. Ghouls display aggression towards anyone who is not one of them, while the creatures themselves are not intelligent. They possess their own form of intelligence and can perform simple tasks such as opening a door or using tools. They can also communicate with each other and coordinate their actions when attacking a victim. Incarnation in Culture The ghoul is one of the most recognizable and popular incarnations of the zombie in culture. In various media formats such as movies, television series, and video games, these creatures are often depicted as lifeless corpses that eat living people. In Western culture, ghouls have been widely depicted in literature and horror films. For example, Harry Potter encounters the creature in a graveyard, and in the TV series The Walking Dead, these monsters are the main incarnations of zombies. Cinematography The image of the ghoul is one of the most interesting and multidimensional images in cinematography. He can be calm and thoughtful and can show rage and aggression. I in any case, this character always leaves a trace in the hearts of viewers. Point one of the most vivid images can be seen in the movie Taxi Driver by Martin Scorsese. The main character Travis Bickle, Robert De Niro, is an unemployed Vietnam War veteran who observes the life of New York from a cab. His image shows the audience the hard to control human psyche and the chaos of the modern metropolis. Another unforgettable image of a mythological creature can be seen in the movie Mad Dogs by Quentin Tarantino. This character, played by Harvey Keitel, although he does not bear the name of a ghoul, but his behavior resembles a ferocious dog that is on a short leash from the gang. On the one hand, he keeps the situation under control, but he can also start a bloodbath. Video Reviews Mythological Creatures, The Meaning of the Ghoul, Review on the Ghoul The image of the ghoul is also present in comedy movies. For example, in The Big Lebowski, the Coen brothers created the image of Jeffrey Lebowski, who lives a carefree life and does not care about anything but bowling. His image shows the audience that it is possible to enjoy life and not take it too seriously. Ghoulies have immense power and magical abilities. Interesting to know. There's a ghoul in The Witcher, to the movie Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul is a Japanese manga that has gained widespread popularity around the world. No wonder that its adaptation became a real event for fans of the genre. The movie Tokyo Ghoul was released in 2017 and became the first full-length adaptation of the manga. The main character of the film is a guy named Ken Kaneki, who after the attack of the creature begins to realize his new state and adapt to life among people. The hero's world is turned upside down when he learns about the secret actions of the CCG, Commission for Control, organization, which fights against dangerous creatures. At this point, 
He must choose his side to continue hiding or to take part in the conflict. This movie was director Kentaro Hagiyamoto's first work in the action fantasy genre. Thus the story of the creation of Tokyo Ghoul becomes clear interesting to know. The success of the film led to the release of another screen adaptation, a series, which was released in 2018. In it, the story of Ken Kaneki continues, which has already managed to gain great popularity among viewers. There is also a comic book Tokyo Ghoul. Literature The image of the ghoul is one of the most common motifs in literature. It symbolizes freedom, independence, and the desire to live a full life, not limiting oneself to the limits of society. Often, heroes who are presented as mythical creatures have opposing qualities relative to other characters. Such monsters are characterized by a high degree of ruthlessness. They usually have tremendous physical strength that makes them almost invincible. Some authors present monsters as creatures that have no fear or pity for their victims, who is a ghoul in literature. One of the most striking examples of the use of the image of monster ghouls in literature can be called Stephen King's novel, It. In the book, the main antagonist is a monster that takes various forms to intimidate and kill its victims. This creature feeds on people's fear, which makes it even more dangerous. Another example would be the character of Golem from the book The Lord of the Rings by Tolkien. Golem is a golem monster created from clay and animated by magical power. He is greedy, cruel, and lacks any human feelings. However, ghouls are not always simply a symbol of evil and fear. In some cases, they serve a deeper purpose. For example, in the novel Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, the Frankenstein monster is presented as a lonely creature who suffers rejection from humans. Manga There are many other images of ghouls in literature, such as dragons, zombies, vampires, etc. Some authors use these characters to create an atmosphere of horror and suspense in their works. Interesting to know, the image of a monster is one of the most popular in fantasy literature due to its ability to cause fear and tension in readers. In addition, there are comic books with a ghoul. Ghoul in painting. The ghoul is popular not only in cinema and literature, but world painting. This sinister character, possessing a humanoid form but with the head of an animal, has become a symbol of evil and danger. His image can be seen both in classical works of art and in modern works. The origins of the image of the ghoul monster go back to ancient European mythology. In those times, he was associated with various pagan rituals and beliefs. In the Christian world, the ghoul was represented as an intruder who seduces people into sins. In painting, this theme became especially popular during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. In paintings of that time, we can see images of creatures that threaten people with punishment for their sins. Here they were depicted as savages or anthropomorphic creatures with squat bodies and creepy heads. Over time, the image of the monster became more detailed and realistic. In Renaissance paintings, we can see images of monsters with muscular bodies and expressive faces. They became a symbol not only of evil, but also of the power that can resist any dangerous enemy. In modern painting, the image of the ghoul monster is also very popular. Today, artists use it as a symbol of evil and violence in a variety of contexts, from science fiction to socio-political paintings. Ghoul Tattoo The ghoul is a mythical creature that is found in different cultures and has different interpretations. In the West, they are often associated with zombies or vampires. But in the Japanese tradition, it is the spirit of a dead person who has not found peace. The image of the ghoul has become popular in tattoo art due to its mysterious and mystical nature. It is often depicted on tattoos as an evil creature with sharp teeth, claws, and other threatening attributes. Particularly popular are tattoos from the anime ghoul. Interesting to know. Ghoul tattoos on the arm can be a symbol of fear of the unknown or the image of a protector from evil. In addition, they indicate that a person is not afraid to face their dark sides and accept their animal origin. Before applying the image, it is necessary to know who is a ghoul. Not always ghouls look terrible in tattoos. Some images can be called rather beautiful, as they convey a special aesthetic artistic style. 
For example, they can be made in the Japanese style and contain elements of classical art. In this case, sketches of Tattoo Ghouli are developed in advance. Conclusion Ghoul is a creature that is found in the mythology of different cultures. In Arabian, he is a demon who appears in cemeteries and eats the bodies of dead people, and in Latin evil spirits, attacking travelers and sucking the life force out of them. In Indian mythology, the ghoul can transform into an animal or a human. He attacks people and kills them to feed on their bodies. Ghouls are said to have great power and magical abilities. He attacks people and kills them to feed on their bodies. Gulls are said to have great power and magical abilities.